The following is a non-profit fan dub of a beloved comic. Bravest Warriors is property of Frederator Studios. You can check them out on Cartoon Hangover. Please support the official release! I don't understand, Bravest Warriors. We have tolerated your reverence for days now. Why have you not solved our civilization's problem of gender inequality? Why does sexism still exist? Quit sweating it, Ambassador. These are new carpets. Here, pull my finger. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. This was a mistake. Our planet is doomed to endless civil war because I foolishly trusted a group of dingbat teens to solve- Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on there, Madam Ambassador. We would not ask you to pull Beth's finger unless it was absolutely necessary. You better believe that. I had a nightmare like this once. Ha ha ha! Nothing will ever stop us from being sexist. Sexism rules! Crack a sweet! Woo! I invented that! It's so freaking beautiful. Activate whirling shadow blades of brutal vengeance! This looks dangerous, but I have taken the necessary precautions. I'm an enthusiastic but careful cook! I invented this gun, and I don't even like popcorn! The cupcakes are done, man. And you know what that means. Time to eat the cupcakes? Nope. It's time to make the cupcakes fight each other to the complete and utter death. We are all going to die here, aren't we? This is where our story ends. To die would be a pretty friggin' rad adventure, Chris. Don't worry, Wallow. In the statistically unlikely event that this cupcake situation goes sideways on us, I shall protect you. I love you, and I would Green never- Green is totally going to kick some marbles. I don't know why Orange even woke up today. Hey, Orange, hey. I'm gonna call your mom now. Should I have her meet us at the hospital? The Cupcake Hospital for Losers! Blood, blood for the glory of Amelia! <laughs> Fairy Cupcake Mayhem! Run, Green! There's no shame in running! Save yourself! Oh, Green? Oh, my sweet, sweet Green. We had a good run, though, didn't we, Green? Wait, did that happen to Danny or to me? My memories feel a bit damp and wiggly. Nothing lasts forever, I guess. Nerd, I was promised a scary movie night. Plum! Nobody told me you were coming over. Wow, hi! You look really nice in that, uh. Uh. It's called a shirt, Danny. Get a hold of yourself. A shirt! Yeah! <laughs> shirt. Shirt. What a weird word to forget. It surprises me that you do not forget even the act of breathing, mortal. Now be silent. Your inane human pleasantries bore me. Sorry I'm late, guys. Hi, Chris. Have you been working out in the battle chess room, Chris? You seem even more fiercely intelligent than usual. Yeah! Beth has been teaching me the Sicilian Reptile Laser Defense. I'm getting way better. Bishop Laser Knife to Rook Major Artery! 
finish him. Oh yeah, you still owe me a tiebreaker game, Elizabeth. If it makes you feel better, we can probably modify the battle chess program so that your own pieces don't laugh at you when you beg for mercy this time. On the chessboard, lies and hypocrisy do not last long. You stay out of this. Plum, you are my best friend, and I love you. Sometimes it even feels like you're some kind of unofficial fifth member of our team. And yet I still look forward to beating you so badly at battle chess that your great-grandmother resigns. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet burn, Beth! Now let's watch a movie. I don't want to say that my movie choice will scare the pants off of anyone, because that would be gross if it literally happened. So instead, I'll just say this. I hope none of you are pregnant, because this movie will scare the baby right out of you. And then you'll have a baby that you have to feed and give up your dreams for? I don't know all the details. I'm not a doctor. Are we going to talk about weird feelings all night, Beth? Or are you going to play the movie trailer? Because I don't mind if we talk about feelings. Like, for instance, lately, I feel like hanging around with Chris makes me a better version of myself. What? He makes me want to be a better person. Zombie food court from heck, roll film! In a universe gone mad, there was still an oasis of stability and familiarity. Were there any cupcakes left that we could actually eat? Shh. There was still one place where everyone could feel safe from unexpected dangerous monster attacks. Until now! So, are you kissing anyone these days, Lum? Zombie Food Court from Heck! Beth, as your friend, I am concerned that you might have too much scaredy juice up in your noggin if you think that snooze jam could make anybody pop a baby out even a little bit earlier than usual. I was super scared. I mean, I didn't have a baby or anything, but... Also, I think I might have dated one of those zombie girls. Boogity boogity! And that was just a taste, my friends. A small sampling of the horrors to come. Computer, roll the film! Roll what film? What century do you dingleys think this is? Computer, roll the film! Beep, boop, beep, boop. Yes, you are the master. I obey. Surprise, pop quiz! Maybe I just don't find anything scary. <laughs> burn! Pixel, that wasn't a burn. Be nice. What? To them? Why? I hope you guys are ready to scream and cry like little girls. Uh, except Beth and Plum, I guess. You guys will probably cry like little boys. But a mermaid has no tears, and therefore she suffers so much more. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. She does not speak on my behalf. Interruption was fully my intention. Oh, go soak your head in a bucket of books, you weird old woman. Perhaps I should. Your brain is in this head with mine and would certainly benefit from a dousing in culture. Please just play your movie trailer, Chris. You can't just throw a used band-aid off the airlock. You've doomed us all! You're chumming the ice-cold waters of space! Chumming? What are you worried about? <laughs> space sharks? In space, no one can hear you scream. Space sharks! Okay! My turn! Everyone, be quiet, please. Everyone, shush up. Meet Hannibal. He's a teenage space warrior looking for love in all the wrong places. You look a lot different from your profile picture. Until he meets Greta. Wallow, why are your movies always about kisses? Are you kiss crazy? No talking. 
He's about to find out that the love of his life is already married to science. I don't understand. Is she a robotic werewolf queen or something? Wallow, that wasn't a scary movie. We always watch scary movies. How come we never have smoochy movie nights? Are you lonely? Is that what's going on here? Oh, Wallow, you should have said something. You always seem to have so many dates. How are we supposed to know that on the inside you were weeping with a bottomless, unfathomable sorrow? Lonely? Sorrow? <sighs> Don't be stupid, you guys. He has me. I'm not lonely. I just think once in a while we could watch a movie that... Gah! Clown! Sorry to interrupt the nerves. Incoming distress call. Help us. Please, somebody help us. We have been attacked by our greatest enemy. Sadness. A mission! I love missions! Computer, trace that signal. I'll make sure we turn the oven off. Hey guys, I'm just tossing ideas around. Maybe we should just ignore that distress call and let the clowns all die. No way! We are the bravest warriors, Danny, and we are going to save those depressed little bozos from a nightmare of frowny faces. We'll smack the frowns right off their faces. Clowns? Why did it have to be clowns? Uh, guys, this is probably a good time to tell you that I suffer from severe cholerophobia. Well, you should have gone before we left the hideout, Danny! 